design still has a big value with cars. Cars are emotional objects. They're not supposed to be 100% practical and just a, a, a capsule that takes you from point A to point B. These are pieces of art. If there is a competition for best concept car of the year, there is no competition anymore because these two concepts from Hyundai just blew everybody out of the water. So Hyundai just unveiled two concepts that I think will change the way people actually perceive EVs. The RN22e and specifically the absolute masterpiece that is the Envision 74 concept brings Hyundai into a league of its own. In my opinion, Hyundai is now the most exciting car brand out there because they're bringing back what's been lacking for so long in the automotive industry. Passion not only for performance, but a great passion for car design. And it shows in these super cool concepts right here. These are the definition of cool. So I'm gonna show you the design development sketches of both these two concepts from the early doodles to the renders and then walk you through both car designs from a front side and rear view and let you know what I think of them, which I think you can kind of expect what I'm gonna say here already. I can't wait, so let's dive straight into this. So here they showed us a 577 horsepower electric sports car sedan based on the brand new Ionic 6. In my video, about the Ionic 6, I wanted it to sit a little wider. Well, this concept gives it an extra 5.6 inches of body width, and what a difference that makes to the stance of the car. It's also lower by 0.7 inches and fitted with massive 275 wide tires and 21 inch wheels all around. So let's have a look at this car and see how it started out with these sketches here from the official Hyundai design team so you can see just how much wider this is with these fenders going all the way out here and also when we look at the images I'm going to show you you can actually see the wheel in here in this air vent and I think it looks so cool they also have this clear definition and end point of this design with this massive duck tail and they also decided to add a big wing on the rear as you can see in this beautiful sketch right here I'm starting to like this design it looks like a bean a little bit but the thing with this is it has some really clear definition to it and some really tight edges and corners to break up the smoothness that we normally see in EVs and I think they did a fantastic job with this the RN22e to upgrade it and make it look more sporty than the Ionic 6. I do understand that the Ionic 6 is going to be more of a consumer car for just commuting back and forth to work but they, they, it has the potential of being something really special and I think that shows in these gorgeous sketches right here. So let's have a look at the actual car and how that turned out. So look at the stands. Just have a look at the front view of this thing and just how much wider it is. We have a much wider, bigger opening in the front end fascia compared to the Ionic 6, which I thought looked a little maybe messy in the front end. They definitely cleaned it up here with this big mouth to cool the now 577 horsepower a motor in here that comes straight from the EV6 GT and it also looks like we have some some uh, old-school eyelids uh, right here over the the top part of the headlights which I think gives it a bit more sinister look but here you can definitely see this the added width to this design which I think looks absolutely fantastic and it brings it into another category of car it now doesn't just look like the everyday cruiser EV Cruiser, it now looks like a purpose-built performance machine. We still have this line intact, which I like, one of my favorite lines of this uh, Ionic 6, but it's now adding more interest, more interesting features to this design because you can see that the wide body kit is now cutting into the otherwise very bobbly shape of the design. And I think it looks better with these cuts in it because it breaks it up a little bit. We have some sharpness and some cuts in the body to create these this wide body kit and this is one of my favorite details of this new concept they added an extension of this ducktail in the rear and just a simple little touch and we're gonna i'm gonna show you the envision concept 74 the gorgeous rear end of that car as well in just a minute and in addition to the ducktail you now have this race 
inspired wing up here which I wouldn't mind having on my Ionic 6 either specifically when we have it in this wide body kit but looking at it from a rear view just have a look at these outlets right here they're definitely functional obviously and you can see the tire through this big hole here and the graphics they look like they're super confident we have a straight horizontal line and then bam going into these graphic features in the very end creating and almost emphasizing the width and the stance of the rear end and hopefully the, I know that I, Hyundai are gonna make an end version of the of the Ionic 6. Hopefully they will take some design cues from this design. I'm, I don't think they will, but if they could implement the wide body kit in the end version, that would be the craziest EV to date in production, in my opinion. So I really hope they do that. Next up, we have the Envision Concept 74. And this is a car that really blew my mind. It's a rear wheel drive, 671 horsepower, hydrogen slash electric hybrid sports car, the Envision 74. And it's a fantastic modernization of the beautiful Giugiaro designed 1974 Hyundai Pony Coupe. This is one of these cars that I would love to just slowly walk around and appreciate the old school proportions and all the details that's going on in this design. It's a perfect modernization, in my opinion, of the old pony car. So the thing is, we don't know yet if... Uh, the, the Hyundai says these are just rolling test labs, so we don't know if they're going into production yet. But if there is a petition I can sign anywhere to help make that happen, please let me know, because I will sign it and make my entire family sign it as well. So they mentioned that there are all, there is also plans for an Ionic 5 N version that will go into production and I really hope that that car will be as wild as these two concepts. So let's have a look at the gorgeous Envision 74 concept. So these are the very early doodle sketches. That's what it looks like. You can see it has a little bit of DeLorean in it, a little bit of BMW M1 maybe. Up here we have a gorgeous side view sketch of the original Pony 74 car by Giugiaro. And I, just looking at these two, you can see, def you can definitely see the resemblance. And I think it looks like a, a retro car, but it looks super futuristic at the same time. And that's really not an easy thing to do. This is one of my favorite sketches of this project. You have some cool gray markers going on here, a little bit of Photoshopping with the taillights, and everything comes together beautifully in this sketch. Same with this sketch. I love side views, and this this sketch just makes me want to pick up the pens and paper and markers right now and start sketching because I get so inspired by uh, dirty doodles like this. This is my favorite type of sketching, as I'm sure some of you know already, because it shows it, it's not a perf it's not a perfect sketch. It shows the artistic uh, abilities of the designers. That's why I love these dirty sketches. You see the markers in the background right here, creating some uh, some backdrop for the sketch for example and then we have this nice front view as well this is definitely a lot of DeLorean to me the original DMC 12 DeLorean specifically with this pointy nose in the front overhang and then we have this big huge diffuser in the lower part while still having some I guess you would call it line flow in this car you can see how they worked with different volumes so we have a big volume in the front end and we have a big volume in the rear end massive wide fenders and then the greenhouse sitting almost protected within these two volumes that we have in the front and the rear these are obviously the final renders of this car and it looks it's such a beautiful car that I, I this is one of these cars that they just can't they can't not put this into production because it's such a cool design so let's have a look at the actual car and what's going on here so this front end it definitely has a lot of 70s vibes to it but obviously modernized with the new leds that i think hyundai has done a fantastic job to bring in the, their new ionic series and create a, their own identity with this pixelated design which i which i'm in love with i love the styling because at the same time that it looks retro 
it looks super modern and specifically with these manufacturing with these lines and the you can you can tell that this is a car that we didn't have the technology to manufacture in the 70s but at the same time it looks like it could have been designed in the 70s and it's a magic balance to have that in a car looking at the side view these proportions some of the best proportions I've ever seen in a car it reminds me also a little bit of the Audi Quattro concept from I think it was 2010 I was lucky enough to see it at uh, in Italy when they showed it uh, right next to Lake Como it that I fell in love with that car and this brings back some of those memories from that design unfortunately the Audi Quattro concept did not see production either but I really hope that this car does maybe not as wild I'm not sure if they can put stuff like this into production unfortunately i would love to have it just like it is into production because i think uh, people will not disappoint people would buy this car if they if they put it into production even though it is a maybe not the most uh, practical car to have but design still has a big value with cars cars are emotional objects they're not supposed to be 100% practical and just a, a, a capsule that takes you from point A to point B. These are pieces of art and I think people are longing or yearning for more designs like this that goes into production. I love the thick B pillar also brings back the, the 70s a little bit in this design. And just look at the greenhouse. We have a straight line going here. They could have made this very smooth and very modern but they decided to keep these angles and corners to bring to 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 emphasize the the retroness of this design even more i love the way this a pillar goes into the wide body kit as you can see right here we have a big shelf in the bottom air outlets with some cool graphics that rem remind me of some fighter jet graphics with these corner graphics and then a big intake in the wide body rear fender here these wheels absolutely fantastic usually i'm not a fan of uh, you know uh, plate wheels like this but in this case it definitely suits this car overall so here we have the original design the 74 pony by Jujar I think this is the uh, concept that actually never went into production but you can see just how the front end the pointiness of the front end is still intact here in the new car but it, it is modernized in a very cool way and we also have this lower lip added to the to the lower part to bring the 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 visual volume of the front end down and also not have this lift you have when you have uh, when you go fast in these old 70s cars the, the front end start to lift and <laughs> that is thanks to this uh, chiseled design that we had of those cars so you actually need this if you want to go fast and if you want to have a performance car in modern times beautiful design and looking at this rear end i love the way this looks just have a look at the the, the uh, it's not really a ducktail but it is a chamfer up here that is gorgeous it's super clean everything has a lot of horizontal lines emphasizing this width then we have these lights right here we also have an f1 inspired brake light i believe that is and have a look at the height of this skyscraper diffuser down here it's massive and i can't believe that hyundai is the brand that are actually making some noise in the car design industry right now i'm so happy to see that hyundai 10 15 years ago with just a cheap brand that nobody really cared about and they didn't really have a and any, any exciting designs at the moment but now there feels like they just know something that the other car design car, car manufacturers don't they, they know what we want they're going 200 miles per hour pushing boundaries while the competition is cruising at a comfortable 75. if i liked hyundai before these cars made me love the brand and i've said this so many times before but if you're in design school right now and you're thinking the car design is starting to become a little boring just set your mind on going to work with the south korean brands because i think a lot of fun stuff is happening there and we can definitely see that in these concepts and also in the sketches just a joy in the sketches you can feel it through the artistic uh, designs that we see here now the only thing I wish that they will have the courage to put these concepts into production make a splash and some noise in a sea of generic boring crossovers and bring back the joy of car design and performance and if they do I'll be the first in line to trade my Tesla Model 3 performance for an Envision 74 
in a heartbeat and I really hope that's going to happen pretty soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.